Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 takes us to 28th of July and we'll be able to extend that beyond that with essential affairs. You see, I'm on Summers, very much around good weeks. Have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for August. I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say we will be including a little mini storm watch at the start of this video as well. The first video series are 6 MBK weather forecast and we've released Jeremy Friday to check out both two bits like share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so, so much for doing that for gas weather. Well, Thank you so much. So well. Right, weather warnings have been issued by the UK Met Office. Got yellow warning for thunderstorms for today and a yellow and amber warning for thunderstorms for tomorrow. So widespread rain and thunderstorm warnings covering many parts of England and up into Scotland for tomorrow. But let's focus on the amber uh, warning here. Now, uh, that is covering southern, southeastern in England anywhere from about Brighton all the way up towards Cambridge in that amber warning area valley from 4am uh, to 11am tomorrow morning torrential rain with thunderstorms in places could lead some significant surface flooding during Saturday morning of course have the more widespread yellow warning may covering the rest of England and up into Scotland going to be some lively weather around tonight and tomorrow all being brought about by uh, this cold front here that's coming in from the Atlantic uh, cooling things down but also struggling to do so hot and stable air ahead of it uh, showing that the front kind of stalls across the country and again we've got uh, a, a pocket of hot and humid unstable air coming up from the south that's back sharp for midday tomorrow so by then the front sort of died to death but we have got a uh, convergence line just enhancing the thunderstorm and shower warning and then as we go through into Saturday night and Sunday you find this next low coming up for south and that's one that's going to push a band of rain through I think and start to freshen things up as we go into uh, next week so an unstable weekend to come to say the least by the way that's a fact sharp which should be human interpretation models by forecasters at the UK Met but let's have a look a little bit of high res from the weather outlook starting First of all, uh, with a pair. So this is a high risk model from Metro France. So not a lot happening until the early hours of tomorrow, but then we start to see those torrential spells of rain, possibly with thunderstorms as well, coming up from the south, affecting parts of central southern England, the Midlands, into eastern counties as well, heading northwards into northern England, southern Scotland by the middle of the day, following behind, got more downpours into those eastern and south southeastern regions and then of course we've got the more general push of rain moving across the country Saturday night into Sunday that bringing fresher air and further unsettled conditions right so that's how our pair she's looking but let's have a look at uh, Icon shall we so where am I going for that I'm going blah, 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 just there I think I went to there and then to there so icon uh, looks like this again check out that trench rain coming at six o'clock in the morning both vibrant red colors uh, so that's already got an amber warning there for tomorrow morning in that southern southeastern area Goodness gracious me, that really is uh, stretch of rain. Could lead to flash flooding. Might just be like an area of fungi rain. Could have embedded thunderstorms within it as well. It all goes trundling off northwards through the afternoon and into the evening. And then further heavy showers, longer spells of rain moving in from the Atlantic, followed by that cooler and uh, fresher air setting us up for an unsettled start to uh, next week. Right, okay, that's that one done. Where are we going next? Let's go to uh, WRF, see how that one is looking. So some downpours in the east and um, through central areas this afternoon, but the really torrential rain gets going in that southeastern corner overnight tonight, affecting East Anglia, southeastern England, just into the southeastern uh, Midlands as well. And then moving uh, northwards again, some very vibrant colours in there, indicating a risk of torrential rain for some places. It all goes heading off into the north as we go through Saturday afternoon. Sunday, showery day, not as thundery, but still with some spells of rain. And then back to two, just have a quick look 
at uh, UKV. So uh, again, we see the risk of scattered showers and uh, maybe a thunderstorm across the eastern, far eastern regions and up in Scotland this afternoon this evening. Not a lot going on. Tonight is when it all kicks off into tomorrow morning. You know, torrential rain through East Anglia, central southern south east England, thunderstorms through parts of the Midlands into northern England as well, potentially tomorrow morning. All of that torrential rain with those thunderstorms gradually pushing northwards through Saturday afternoon. Not much going on through Northern Ireland, Wales, South West England. You'll notice, but we say large out trouble. Things go quieter on Saturday evening, but further heavy showers and downpours likely into uh, Sunday there. And then, of course, we start to push that fresher air through. So it's going to be a lively weekend, and particularly in the southeast, exactly where we need rain, where it's been absolutely parched for many weeks and months. Um, it's going to be in that area, but it looks like we're going to get the heaviest and most torrential double rain. So watch out if you're out about late tonight and into tomorrow morning. It'll be some difficult travel travel conditions. And um, look out yourself. It's going to be a lively spell of weather. But if you like thunder and you get some storms, then uh, enjoy them. Uh, right, let's squint from that from Earth, no school net showing we've got low pressure uh, in the Atlantic and we're bringing in Westy flow to the northwest, but ahead of that, we're drawing up this very warm, unstable, southerly plume. Central England temperature is sitting at 18.7, 2.7 degrees per particular dynamic average provisional to the 16th of July. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next couple of weeks on London today, the red line is the third year upper air temperature average for London. So we have above average with the upper air temperature, but both may be coming down once this thundery stuff pushes through. And then no sign of a return to notably hot weather. Uh, really look, looks like we're staying close to long-term 30-year averages then with the upper air temperatures. Quite unsettled through uh, the next few days, especially in the course of this weekend. Some rather big precipitation spikes may be going drier into the closing days of the month. Temperature normally is next five days, 23rd of July, above average, especially so for the north and the east. 10 to 14 days cooling down, going below average in the north. That's a change. And precipitation anomaly for the next seven days at 25th of July. Uh, significantly wetter than normal, normal in many areas. Right, let's go through chart data. Then. This is our latest UK mate, Euro run. Looking big diet on Monday. Low pressure right over top of the country, bringing heavy showers, long spells, rain. And into uh, next week, we go into a westerly flow of high pressure south, low pressure to the north. Driest, warm, warmest weather, not particularly warm, but driest, warmest weather into the south, more unsettled up in the north. I kind of get back to of low over coach on Monday. Clears out of way gradually, of course, the next week takes its time by next Friday. Again, low pressure north, high pressure south in a flat westerly flow. The KMA again takes a while to clear away that trough of low. Eventually it does so, uh, but we go into a westerly flow. So rather showering and a bit on the cool side with the KMA all the way to the, uh, to the 30th of July to the KMA's been pretty good, I think, with this breakdown, I have to say. Uh, maybe picked up on it first before any other model, but uh, I'm sure you let me know in the comments what you think about that. Uh, GFS Midnight Run again with that trough of low over the country on Monday and takes a while to clear away to the North East, but does eventually do so. We go into flat westy flow, high pressure south, low pressure to the north as we go through uh, into the second half of next week. But all looking rather westerly, even beyond day 10. But we do get changed with the GFS midnight run late on as high pressure builds back in. So into the end of July, beginning of August, summer returns. Something's not done if a GFS midnight run is correct. What does the six edge show in comparison? Well, again, we start burning and set with that trough of low. Eventually, we're into a westerly flow. Second half next week. Most of the south in the north. Dry east in the south, but not completely dry uh, there. And into uh, beyond, beyond day 10. Well, a different uh, six head uh, compared to midnight run. With high pressure out to the west. Winds there for a ring from the north. So rather cool and showery there as we're going into early August. You pay your money. You take your choice. If you're enjoying the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all the
all our videos are granted. Don't get to our friends about gas ways. Get them to subscribe to Patricia Brin for dear Matt. About 70 subscribers gets us to um, 20.5k. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, GM, again with that uh, low pressure over country through Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday. The trough continues. It takes a long time to clear away, not to about Friday, Saturday, till it does so. And then we're into West and Northwest. You throw a little bit of a cool and showering side. That's a setup at day 10. High pressure south, low pressure north, looking a bit showering. And then the ECM rounds it all up with a trough of low right over top of the country on Monday, clearing out of the way gradually through next week, but not until the end of the week does it really get away. Then uh, next weekend, it's high pressure, high pressure south, low pressure to the north. Um, and we carry on with those west northwesty winds up to day 10, looking rather cool and showery. And then beyond that, well, we keep it a bit mixed, really. No definitive push of high pressure into the start of August, so remain, remaining a little bit cooler and showery there. This is a precipitation forecast based on my ECM run from Thread.com. Here comes all of the rain tomorrow morning. Torrential rain moving up south could be thunderstorm mixed in with that as well. Uh, of course, that eventually heads up to Scotland. More wet weather down to southwest. That starts to spread across the country through Sunday morning and introduces some cooler and fresh air. But more rain is gathering to the south on Sunday night. So it's quite a wet sort of period, doesn't it? The next uh, two or three days will be useful rain for many of us. Uh, beyond that, when we keep those showers going under that trough throughout a large portion of next week, later on begins to turn a little bit drier, but still with further showery bursts. These are the October table within the ECM Ensemble today. Four day term from the Icelandic Met Office gets us 28th of July. 23 members of the ECM Ensemble are be control and the operation run with high pressure to the west, low pressure to the north, north east. And that brings us a west northwest wind. We've got 18 with uh, deeper low pressure to the east, higher pressure out to the west. That brings more of a northerly flow. That could be really quite chilly. And then, uh, well, chilly for the time of year. Um, and then we've got high pressure ridge here from the south with 10 here. That obviously is the driest and warmest option. Therefore, in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 2nd of August, 70 members of the East Coast Ensemble still with some sort of trough digging in from the Atlantic. Looking a bit showery, 13, low pressure to the east, high pressure out to the west. That's going to be a bit cool, showery too. We've got 12 with high pressure weight to the north west. Should be mainly dry with that, but could be a little bit on the cool side. Low pressure might bring some rain into the south. And then we've got 9 again with low pressure down south, a ridge to the north. No sign particularly of a return uh, to summer conditions there. And I day 10 or day 14 all looking rather cool and showery for late July and early August as we said yesterday it's possible this will be a front loaded summer uh, with the driest warmest weather in the earlier part of the summer CFSB2 finally so uh, this is the latest 700 millibar high dominant idea for August and remember the chart changed daily but today's idea has high pressure ridging in from the Atlantic should bring a relatively dry August you would have thought but with an Atlantic flare it won't be overly hot perhaps slightly above average temperatures no single signal for precipitation but I would thought a relatively dry-ish month would be likely we'll see okay we're done if you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe and show everyone for dear Matt drop a comment and say I think Matt missing all our videos can't don't forget to tell friends about guys but it's getting to subscribe to thanks show everyone for doing that rushing through because I've got to go to the uh, second job on what the gap this afternoon so you're passing through what the gap north I'll see you at the cafe and the Italian takeout to go um we'll see right okay tomorrow 6 m UK weather forecast yeah I'm going to have an update for channel members which will be the ECM at WF42 day exclusive for channel members to IW UK and of course 10 to 14 day tomorrow as well keep checking back to the channel for more of this one. That's all now. And thanks so much.